what we've developed um, is a tool that allows consistency on a basis that's not available at the moment in golf and an ease of use that is also unavailable to, to people at the moment. Um, to set up first and foremost, you pick a target. Obviously our target today is, is the tree, the big oak tree in the distance. We, we set a plane line down, a baseline down for our, for our target line. And then the, the, difficult, the difficulty for most people is to set an inclined tour stick um, at the correct angle for their club. Um, the first time that you do this, you need to get your coach or your coach needs to do it for you or a friend to stand directly behind hands at, at hand height, at butt of club height, to set yourself directly behind. So you want to see one stick. You do not want to see two under or over the plane line. You want to be able to see one stick and know for certain that it's exactly the same as it was yesterday and exactly the same as it was the day before. So the consistency of my practice starts to take on a different dimension. Ideally, once you've set up and you've got yourself into a decent practice position, the first move away from the golf ball is, gonna, is the move that most people consider the make or break move in golf. So if this move away from the golf ball is on plane, then, you've, then the, it's much easier to keep the rest of your golf swing working on that plane line. Take the club away first and foremost into P2. P2's shaft parallel to the ground. From that point onwards, it's shoulder rotation up and set the club back onto the plane line. Okay, hopefully, once you've started to uh, feel comfortable setting up with the sticks close to you, you could actually try to hit a golf ball. Tour stick uh, in the perfecta to 60.5, which is my uh, my lie angle, uh, my shaft angle at address um, when I'm set up to play um, a 60 yard pitch. And we're just hoping to show you how easy it is to work on um, you know longer clubs, your six and seven irons, five, six and seven irons. Um, longer irons but equally how precise you can start to get with your practice and your setup position with your shorter irons and your pitching and your scoring clubs. We've come in off the, um, the grass range um, to demonstrate um, the use of the Perfecto indoors. Um, as you can see I'm, I've, I've taken the spikes out, the grass spikes out and I'll show you how to introduce the, the, the training aid Perfecto to the, to the mat on hard standing floor. It's very very simple to use. We have two ways of using it. The first one is by the use of the spines that simply hold in place underneath the weight of the mat. Um, we, the, we can introduce the base plane um, target line stick into the perfecter and as you can see that will raise up to any height of mat um, so that you've got wherever you are, whatever range you are, you should have no problem at all fitting that over the mat. And then the inclined plane fits in the top and once again you can just fit it to 60 degrees, 65 degrees, whatever your um, shaft plane is for the specific iron that you're using. Um, you can still use the Perfecto if you're just using it indoors on a patio. You're quite able to use the Perfecto due to the introduction, using the introduction of a third stick. So what I'll do, I'll take this back, I'll move it back into a hard standing position. Okay. Put our baseline in, so it's there, and then the introduction the introduction of a third stick a 
allows the perfecter to be able to use be used on any hard standing surfaces.